With me now is Dr. Sean Aaron. He's a respirologist at the Ottawa Hospital Research Institute. Doctor, good morning. So glad that you can be with us. So just looking at those images over Alberta, it almost makes you choke. Uh, the current air quality is very poor. How harmful is this to people? What are the potential impacts? Well, Marcia, it is very concerning. Um, smoke from wildfires has a number of bad effects on the lungs and on the airways, and, uh, and people need to be concerned. Uh, the reason why the air is so uh, hazy uh, is because there are particulate matter uh, particles that are circulating now in the air from those wildfires. And those particulate matter particles can be very small and they can be breathed directly into the lungs, down deep into the lungs, into the alveolar spaces and can cause direct lung inflammation. Uh, so people who are breathing in these particles are basically injuring their lungs and their airways as we speak. And that can be dangerous, especially if you have pre-existing lung disease. Lung inflammation, that sounds awful. What would be the symptoms of that, doctor? Well, what it's going to do is it's going to cause wheeziness, chest tightness, cough, and shortness of breath. Um, you can have those symptoms if you're exposed to, uh, to wildfire smoke, regardless if you have previous lung disease. So that uh, if you go out in, these, in this environment, especially if you exercise in this environment, you're much more likely to get lung inflammation and lung injury. So the warning is, take this seriously. What do you advise people do to protect themselves from the adverse effects of the smoke? Well, the obvious thing is to try not to breathe in the smoke. So if you are in an area where you are potentially exposed, you want to stay indoors, you want to keep your windows closed, and uh, hopefully you can use air conditioning if you need it to keep your house cool. Uh, what you should not do in these conditions is go outside and exercise, because when you exercise, you increase your minute ventilation, you breathe in proportionally more smoke, and you create more lung injury and lung inflammation. What about little kids who want to go out and play? Well, I hate to say it, Marcia, but it's like in those minus 40 degree days in January where you keep the kids inside for recess. I think if you live in Western Canada right now, it would be advisable to keep the kids inside for recess and lunchtime. And I know you're a people doctor, but I'm also assuming that the adverse effects could harm pets too. <laughs> That's uh, out of my scope of practice. I, I, don't, I would assume, but I don't want to say for sure. I'm not a veterinarian. Well, thank you very much, Doctor. I uh, appreciate you being with us. Again, those air quality warnings remain in effect in Western Canada. This is a story that we are continuing to watch very closely.